Southeast Queenslanders depend on the region's dams for safe and reliable drinking water. Dams also supply water for irrigation and areas for recreation. Three of SEQ Water's dams, Wyvernhoe, Somerset and North Pine, have gates which allow us to control the flow of water through the dam. The gates are large steel barriers that we can open to release water and control the flow. Dams can't store all the water that flows into them. Flood mitigation happens when the flood water released through the dam gates is less than the rate of water flowing into the dam from the catchment and from rainfall. The dam temporarily stores some flood water, which results in the level of the dam rising above the drinking water supply level for a short time. This results in the peak in the release of flood water being less than the peak of the water flowing into the dam. This helps to reduce river levels downstream of the dam and mitigate the impacts of flooding on downstream communities. After the flood has peaked, the dam's flood storage compartment must be drained back to the normal drinking water supply level so the dam is ready for the next flood. There are many factors to consider in flood mitigation, such as how much water the dam can hold, the amount of time it takes to release floodwaters, and when floodwaters should be released. Downstream of our largest dam, Wyvernhoe, there are other creeks and rivers that flow into the Brisbane River. Flooding in these tributaries is not controlled by dams, and this makes the flood operations for Wyvernhoe Dam more complex in the timing and rate of flood water releases. These factors were considered in developing the Flood Mitigation Manual for operating our gated dams. To learn more about our dam operations and to sign up to our free dam release notification service, please visit our website seqwater.com.au. Thank you.